I don't look like I'm gonna get a good feeling on this. You devil, you. I know you like that girl, Angela, so much. Now, who wouldn't like all that raw material by Rubens? After all, a man needs something to hold once in a while. Well, I advise you go home and hold your wife. Sorry, sir. <laughs> I thought you were asleep. Well, not to worry. I'm sure very soon I'm going to sleep permanently and people like you will have the opportunity even to carve out in my bedroom. Don't talk like that, sir. Please. Well, on a serious note, um, what's the situation now? Well, I know you can take it, so I'll give it to you straight. You should start making preparations. Mm. As bad as that? Worse. You mm. should have died a month ago. Oh, I need to do. Oh. Death is afraid of people like me. <laughs> that may be so, Farubis. But you still have less than a month left. Well, that was what you said two months ago. That's what I would say two months from now if you're still alive. But that still does not change the fact that you only have a month to live. Well, I'll tell you. I'll die when I choose to. Not a minute before then. <laughs> You're welcome. It is your decision. Anyway, I'll come by on Monday to see how you do. <laughs> if you're still alive, that Well, way. let's hope you also will still be alive then. You can bet on it, Parubis. <laughs> see you tonight. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Here, up you go, darling. Yeah, this is Steven. Steven, what do you want? You sound as if you're not uh, so happy to hear from me. You know, I think about you all the time and I, I feel we should just, you know, uh, at least... I'm in a hurry. I'm going to the school to pick my kids. Yeah, the kids. The children, that's exactly why I'm calling. Yeah, we need to talk about the kids and a, a few other things, you know. I don't have anything to discuss with you. Don't be hurting with me, Abigail, come on. You know better than to do that. Meet me at the Thompson Underpass in 10 minutes. Please be there, okay? Chicken. Uh, 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 two, two, two donuts and, uh, and a meat pie. What else, sir? Uh, and a bottle of Fanta. This card to come into What the fuck are you talking about? Sir, you don't have any money on this card. In fact, this card is invalid. This card? 
What? Invalid. What the fuck are you talking about? This car is invalid. Look, I get look. This car is fucking loaded, man. Look. Look, 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 look. I, 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 I think it's, it's faulty. It's faulty. I, 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 I got to eat something, okay? I got to eat something, okay? Could you please bring down your voice and beat you? You are disturbing other customers, please. I'm just bring down my voice. You are disturbing other customers. I bring, customers. I bring this place down, man. Look, I, I got to eat something. So what were you Excuse fucking talking about? Look, is... customers. Where the fuck were the customers? When I was busy making my money. Sorry, where were they? Where were they? Yeah. I bring this place down, you okay? You are disturbing customers, sir. Where the fuck were the customers? Where I was busy making my money. Manager, manager. Hey, where are they? Look, get, get, get. No, sir. Hold on, hold on. Manager. Hold on, hold on. Excuse me, excuse me. What's with this? There's no money. Excuse me, sir. Just a minute. Look, I gotta eat something, okay? I gotta eat something! Okay, okay, just a minute, sir. There's no credit on this car. Very simple. Very simple. Very simple. What's in there? I didn't hear what? Wait, wait, take it again. Wait, wait, this, this shit's fucked up. It's fucked, this stuff is fucked up. You know what? I, I, I got money here, man. I got that. I, 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 I'll bring this place down, man. Okay? Look, I'll pay you when I come back, okay? Sorry, for yourself! You know you don't have a right to keep my children away from me, Abigail. You know that? Steven, my husband expects me at home any moment from now. I don't give a shit what your husband expects, Abigail. Maybe you wouldn't have a husband in the first place if I told him that his lovely wife once slept with her driver. Or that the set of twins that he's so proud the world of are not his, but these dudes. Steven, you do no such thing. Are you threatening me? What if I am? Then you will leave me with no other option than to tell your husband the hidden truth. <laughs> anyway, why did you bring me out here? How good. Don't Happy touch me. I've gotten so used to the good life, baby. Sharp cars. Lovely suits and beautiful women, especially the women. And to sustain a lifestyle like that, baby, you know, you need money lots and lots of it. And that's what I'm asking to get from you now. I don't have any more money to give you, I've given you everything I have. Not quite. I'm aware your husband had quite a lot stashed away somewhere. And you should at least, I mean, get, I mean, raise something for the lover boy. You must be mad. Oh, yes. I perfectly agree with you. You see, everybody has their moments of madness. And I guess yours happened. The day you decided to sleep with your driver. Stephen, let me tell you, 
I don't have another 500,000 naira to give to you. That is not my business, Abigail. My business is to get the money from you and nothing else. And you better make it available. Stay in charge. What do you expect me to get money from now? Where? To go and rob a bank? Do something. So stay in touch, sweetheart. It's not so good to be a stranger. I'll see you again. Nice day. Lies in the sea. A very sad reflection on your Christian life. Listen, you don't have any right to I ask, have every bloody right to do what I choose with you. But since I am of the opinion that God might not approve of what I will do to you in his premises, I'd rather not do it here. Where is my money? Look, I told you, I need time to put the monies together. Your time has run out. I hate to do this to a good friend, but you see, I'm just taking care of business here. My partners say they want their money back in two weeks' time. Now, my partners are not the kind of men you put off. What they want, they get when they want. And they say they want their money back in two weeks. Listen, three million does not grow on trees. <laughs> In two weeks, I would have learned how to pull the trigger, and I will not miss. Judge. Lies in the sea, hatred and greed. People had something, but they never let you know. Lies in the sea, hatred and greed. People had something, but they never let you know. If only people could be true, you'll never know what they are thinking. All the lies that they've been hiding, it's so bad. Really boring, man. Really that that lecturer is just some big hell of a useless man, I tell you for real. It's all about you girls. You're the ones who have time for uh, the stupid man. I swear to God, one day I'm gonna forget my palm in his face. I'm serious. Please don't do that. Wait for me. So, baby, let's go. Try to see. Guys, I'm sweetheart. How are you, boy? Uh, why do you not call me that? My <laughs> friends here call me Baz. Mm, okay, Baz. What about the work and friends? Are you out of your mind? What's wrong with you kissing your stepmother? Well, in that context, nothing, absolutely nothing is wrong with it, but not what you are looking for, and definitely not here in public. Listen, I told you to always call me before coming down here. Basil, are you getting tired of me? Why would you say that? I don't know. I see you hanging out with your cheap 
low life undergraduate semi prostitutes you call girls in here. Come on, don't be ridiculous. I'm only trying to maintain a certain level of decency here. Decency? <laughs> Please. Oh, what happened the day you had me? On the washing machine, in the laundry, while your father was in the bathroom. Where was the decency then, sweetheart? Hmm? Spare me, okay? Anyways, your father wants to see you all this weekend. What for? How would I know? All I know is I'm going to have you all to myself. Hmm? This weekend is going to be one hell of a weekend, so sweetheart, keep it warm, okay? Meanwhile, some spending money. Give your friends a treat. They look hungry. Not even a goodbye kiss. Stepmom. She came to give me some money, some pocket money, that's all. If any of my children had turned out like her, I wouldn't have been so sad. Anyway, I have sent for all of them to come in this weekend. A sort of family reunion. Maybe we can straighten out some of our problems and differences. Uh, that would also help me decide who gets what. Have you changed your mind about leaving everything for her? Who knows? This weekend will decide. Do not ever make the mistake of marrying a woman in her twenties, when you are as old as I am. Money, man. Money to import. Money to process. And money to pay the drug boys. Money that we get from junkies like you. But 
when jockeys like you don't pay us the money you owe us, we can't we can't stay in business. I'll pay you. I swear, look, I'll pay you as soon as I get it. Look, just give me three days, man. Three days. Look, I saw something. I saw something. We know, Coco. We are not here to collect. We are only here to leave a little reminder about your debts. Anybody I was coming home? He came in 10 minutes ago and said he would wait for you. He didn't tell you his name? No, he didn't. Cash! What are you doing in my father's house? It is not a crime to visit friends now, is it? And how did you know I was coming here? Questions, cause you don't bother your pretty head. I just came to tell you that the world is a small place. We can get to you anytime we want. You've already lost two days. Think about that. Hello, lover boy. Hi. Hi. Would you like to join me? Uh, 
Not on your life. Oh, come on. It's nothing as wonderful as a cold swim on a hot sunny afternoon. Look at it. Just, you know, to invigorate your sex drive. Trust me. It's better than Viagra. You know something, Patricia? The world would be a better place if only you use your head thinking about better things than just sex. But with you around, what else is there to think about? Hmm? Besides, sex makes the world go round, so... Gosh, you're so decadent, Patricia. <laughs> you? You taught me the ropes of decadence, honey boy. And I'll forever be grateful to you. Hi, school. Fine, thank you. And how are you? God is good. Angela, what do you want? I came to tell Madame I'm going to the market. Then go to the market. In case you need me for anything. Have you made my husband's lunch? Yes, ma. Then I don't think I need you for anything else. Yes, ma. Why me, little nitwit? God! If I didn't know my husband couldn't get it up, I'd have sworn he was sleeping with her. Yes! That's the only thing that explains why she's still around the house after all these years. Aside the fact that you're decadent, Patricia, you also have a warped mind. Do you know that? But I bet you like me that way. Besides, it runs in the family. I beg your pardon. You're so mine, girl. Hey, shh. I am still your stepmother. <laughs> yeah, right. Is that home? Yes, inside, somewhere, defying death. <laughs> and that square eyed, ever so upright brother of yours is also around. Anyways. So, sure you don't want to join me? You'd be missing a lot, so you know that. You said my dad is a home. I wonder what will happen if he peeps out the window and sees his last child cavorting in the swimming pool with his wife. Probably will have a cardiac arrest. He'll only think, oh, what a big happy family. Besides, what's wrong with me swimming with my stepson? Nothing really. Good. But, till he's dead. Just coming from school? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, how about you? When did you come in? Well, last night. Okay, so how's that doing? Stronger than the last time. He's asleep now. Yeah, that's good to know. All right, then, let me just go in and clean up. Catch you around, all right? Yeah. You'll enjoy this one. Last and last and last. Thanks for coming. Send it across. You can send any of the boys. Okay. Thank you very much. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. What do you want? Stolen property, my friend. I'm not interested. Stolen? Stolen? You really stolen property? This is. You're not interested? This is genuine relics. I, 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 you can't find this kind of watches on the street to steal. You can find them to steal in the shops. A watch deal, you can rob the owners. Oh, do I look like a thief or something? Do thieves carry them tags? I said I'm not interested. Oh, God. This. 
this is a Rolex. I, I bought it in the state with my own money. So tell me if you're buying it or not. And this is Nigeria, and I said I'm not buying, okay? Please, I need some money. You know, my grandmother, my, my grandmother just died, and I need to fix. It. Need to fix it. <laughs> my friend, that's it. That's the third time your granny is dying in two weeks. You better stop that stuff you're smoking. If not, it's going to send you to your grave. Okay. Or watch till the gutters. Look, it's my business what I do with my life, man. And it's my business what I buy with my money. Look at it. Genuine Rolex. Please help me then. Get off me. <laughs> what do you mean five thousand? You can't buy a Rolex for five thousand naira. <laughs> I buy what I want to buy at what price I want to buy it and when I want to buy it. Okay? I put that in the state for a blinking fifteen thousand dollars. I man. mean, this is Nigeria, man. And I'm buying it for a blinking five thousand naira. If you do not like that, drop my money, pick up your stinking wristwatch, and remove yourself from my accommodation. Okay? Good afternoon. Fine, and how are you? All right. How's medical life? Well, as hectic as ever. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> life in this country is most hectic anywhere else in the world. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How's the old man? Well, he's okay. I guess he's sleeping now. But you know he doesn't sleep long, so he, may, he must have been up now. Good old Paruba, eh? <laughs> Uh, let me check on him. Okay. The matter of his will has given us sleepless nights. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'll be down soon. All right. <sighs> so what would you have me do? Add a codicil? Hmm. It's interesting to know that a lot of people are waiting for me to die so that he can inherit this one. 
Should we disappoint them? Parumen, you alone know exactly what you want to do with your wealth. This won't put yourself in my shoes. What would you do with children such as mine? Rosier is 40 years old. He went to the best schools in the world. He's been consultant surgeon for the past 10 years. He hasn't brought a pin to the house. He thinks he deceives me by saying that he's a born-again Christian. And so his money goes into the church. But I know better, Desmond. Those slot machines at Sheraton Hotel are his banks. Because it may be a disappointment, I agree. But you can't particularly say that about Abigail. Abigail? My Abigail? My only daughter is a pain somewhere private. What would one do with a daughter who knows that she has a father only when she and her husband are in financial difficulties? Coco, her younger brother, is sent to Harvard Business School instead of bringing home an MBA. He brought home a cocaine habit. Paruben, it's, it's not all bad. At least you still have a seal. Don't be deceived, Desmond. Strange things are happening in my house. You speak in riddles. Desmond. I would have said, cut them all off from the wheel. But they are my children. So what would you have me do? Oh. Dad. Oh, dear. How are you? Fine, Dad. Good morning, Dad. How big are you? Yeah, hi. And how is your husband? He's fine, he's fine. And my grandchildren? Oh, they are doing very well. I hope you came with them. Oh no, Dad, I couldn't. You didn't stay the reason you wanted to see us and how long you would like us to stay. Is that your phone? <laughs> yes, Dad. Excuse me. <laughs> so, this one, as I was saying, Abigail. Hello, Abigail. Yeah, this is Steven. Steven, you don't have the right to invade my privacy like this. Never you raise your voice at me like that again, okay? I have a right to call you whenever I want to, and you know it. Now, where should I come for the money? Listen to me and listen to me. You are not getting a dime, not anymore. I am sick and tired of this old shit. You can do whatever pleases you. Eh? Go to the damn press and tell them all you know about me. I don't care. Not another kobo. Where is Gozier? He had an emergency at the hospital. Mm. Coco, I heard you have turned my home into a Colombian drug bar. What do you think you're going to do? Look, that I agreed to stay in this house over the weekend doesn't mean anybody has a right to insult me. Coco, Papa was not insulting you. He was only talking about your bad habits. Sit down. Basi, you also have a wasteful habit. And you, Abigail. You all are a disgraceful bunch. I used to be proud of the children as I had. Not anymore. Never. Look, look, Dad, I'm sure he didn't bring us home over this weekend just to embarrass us. Well, I brought you all home so that you can face up to the realities of how you have lived your lives. 
and are still living. How you have wasted all the years I have invested in you. Dad, are you saying you bred us to protect the interest of, of the investment you made in us? Investment. Investment. Bl blood investment. Hey, Coco, don't talk to Papa like that. It's not proper. Hey, look, listen. One more word out of your mouth, and I'll just turn your teeth into shredded animal. Coco. Well, you people have to straighten up yourselves this weekend, or else. <laughs> for you for dinner. Look, look, take whatever it is that you want to cook and stuff it up somewhere private, hear me? And then get out next time, knock my door. Get out! to me.
Are all those children in the house? Yes, sir. When is dinner going to be ready? In the next one hour, sir. And we'll know who gets what. What do you think, Angela? Mm, do what you think is best, sir. You can bet I will. I beg to leave, sir. Angela! Who made this coffee, Angela? Um, I'm not really sure, sir, but I think it's Auntie Abigail. I know it's only Abigail who can make coffee this horrible. This tastes like chimpanzee's pee. <laughs> I, I beg to leave, sir. Then tell Basil to help bring Daddy down. He said he would like to eat with the family today. I I came to tell you that dinner is served. Do you have an idea why dad wants to see all of us? No. 
I'm not a magician. I suspect it has to do with his health. There. I knew he wasn't feeling well. You are a doctor. You tell me. Listen, I could be of hell, but he wouldn't let me. He prefers that his old doctor was killing him slowly. Too bad. So, what's, what's all this about? Who said me? Dear, look, staying here with you in this house for the weekend will be a little tolerable if you can stop smoking this. Look, look, the, this. Look. Mind your bloody business, okay? Guys, guys, come with me now. There's something wrong with that, please. Yeah. Yes, yes, come. traces of cyanide in the stomach linings and tissues and it was a very heavy dose and I'm certain he died instantly you mean my father was poisoned that was what I said sir but how why doctor that will be for the police to find out uh, that is everything you need for investigation uh, the x-ray the test report everything Please, I have to get back to this. This man is dying. Let's go. We have to get some facts straight here. Cyanide is not a slow poison. Your father was a dead dog the moment he ingested it. Now, what we want to know is. Was that all we had all through the day? Just a cup of coffee? Yes. Not that I know of. Who made the coffee? I did. Is this the cup the coffee was served with? I think so. Nobody leaves this house. Hey. Does that mean we're all under arrest? Arrest is a very strong word to use. Let's just say we shall need all of your land for the investigation. Well, I hope it also means I can still go shopping.
How's the cup Ruben drank from all right? And the amount of cyanide in that cup could have killed the entire French army. <laughs> Is there any other thing we should know? Yes. That you should arrest whoever planned for that to happen with all speed and quickness of alacrity. I should be telling you that. Or should I? Cracking boys, cracking, cracking. Ooh, I'm famished. I told you before. Dad requested for a cup of coffee, and I made it. Ah. Uh, look, guys, can I just be excused? Like, I don't yeah. want to finish this, madam. You have some explanations to make here. Are you saying that I killed my father? Because if you are, you should give me a reason why I would do a thing like, like do, do a thing like that. Maybe you should tell us, madam. A result of the autopsy at which your brother was present confirmed that your father was killed by cyanide, which you found in a cup of coffee that you made. So tell me why I should not redo your right. I wasn't the only one who handled that cup. Who else did, madam? Listen, um. She handed a cup over to Kufu. And when he almost spilled, I took it over from him and passed it on to Basil. It was Basil who took it up. Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait a minute here. I'm not part of this, I. Right? I'm not part of this. It was quite true, I was given a cup of coffee. I took it upstairs, and in the corridor, I met my stepmom. And I handed it over to Angela. Now, Angela was the one that took it in. Are you telling us that everybody handled the cup? Hey, bro, look, look. Excuse me, I need to take. I need to go to the loo, man. So, what do you have? As a very nice way of saying that we have not been walking. We have, sir. What we don't have is the motive. Why would anybody kill Paruben? For his boxers, I suppose. <laughs> you know, something just occurred to me. Have you guys considered the possibilities of suicide? Why would an 80-year-old man kill himself, sir? He didn't lack for money or anything else. Besides, from what we found out from the doctor, he had less than a month to live, and he knew it. Is that not enough reason for the man to take his life? I don't think so, sir. Who prepared his coffee? A big girl, the first daughter did, sir. Simple. That should be your starting point. Sir, we have a problem. Everybody except Baruben's wife touched that cup of coffee before it finally got to him. Anybody could have poisoned Baruben. Sir, I, I suggest we bring everybody down here and give them thorough interrogation. The murderer is bound to confess, sir. Did you hear yourself? The murderer will confess, I'm sure. I suggest you bring everybody in and interrogate them. You know what I feel? Policemen like you should have been faced off with the last military regime. Who handled the cup of coffee last? The house help, Angela.
bring her in. I want answers and I want them fast. Also talk to the lawyer. I want to know the last outsider that visited Paruben before he died. I want to know what transpired between Paruben and the outsider in those last hours. I want to know everything. At your service, sir. Uh... Go for it. So, why did you kill your employer? I did not kill him, sir. Who did? I don't know. You were the last person that touched his cup of coffee. Yes, sir. But. Paruben was too good to me. He took me as one of his children. I, I had no reason to kill him. But others had. What others? Uncle Gossier. Coco. Basile, and your big girl, and Madame. So they had reasons. What reasons do they have? Listen. Bad things, sir. And I saw things too. Gose came in that Friday. A man visited him. Cash! What are you doing in my father's house? It is not a crime to visit friends now, is it? And how did you know I was coming here? Questions, Gose. Don't bother your pretty head. I just came to tell you that the world is a small place. We can get to you anytime we want. You've already lost two days. Think about that. In the day that Uncle Basile came back, I saw him discussing with Mother Madapu. Ah, oh, come on. It's nothing as wonderful as a cold swim on a hot sunny afternoon. Look at it. Just, you know, to invigorate your sex drive. Trust me. It's better than Viagra. You know something, Patricia? The world will be a better place if only you use your head thinking about better things than just sex. Not with you around. What else is there to think about? 
Mm -hmm. Besides, sex makes the world go round, so. Gosh, you're so decadent. Patricia. <laughs> you? You taught me the ropes of decadence, honey boy. And I'll forever be grateful to you. I also saw them on several occasions. I also saw and heard an Antipico on four. Listen to me and listen. You are not getting a dime, not anymore. I am sick and tired of this old shit. You can do whatever pleases you. Go to the damn press and tell them all you know about me. I don't care. Not another cobble. So tell me, how does all these things relate? Sir, everybody needs money. Apart from Basil and uh, Patricia, who are interested in doing away with the old man so that they can have a free run. Sir, I'm, I'm just a house help. I have no reason to kill by Ruben. He was too good to me. Believe me, sir. Are you sitting here free? Was she under arrest? Sir, if I may ask, what do you think you're doing? Excuse me? Cherry, do I need to remind you that you don't have the right to ask me stupid questions? I'm sorry, sir. The criminals are out there. Go get them. Don't come back to this office if you don't have them. Now. Yes. Thank you, sir. You heard me. Cut her loose. This way. Let's go. Okay, sir. This way. Cut her loose! Ruben send for you. Why would the man send for his lawyer? Don't fence with us, this man. I dare you to. We are not in a law court here. This is a murder investigation, mind you. All right, if you must know, he sent for me because he wanted to review his will. Um, was he in the habit of doing that? I mean, reviewing his will periodically. No, no not exactly. It only started when his doctor told him he had little time left. So, can we see the will? Of course not. At least not until the family gives me the permission.
should have stopped asking by now. How did the funeral go? That's none of your business. I could blow out your brains right now, you know. Then you won't get your money. You know how patient the vulture is. That's how we feel. But your time has run out. Make sure that your father's will is ready so that you can pay us our money without further delay. And being that we are very caring people, we have given you one book to do that. Listen, I am not alone in this. I have brothers and a sister, and we get to sit together to take a decision on that. We can make all things possible if we so desire. You are the first book. You have a right to demand that the will be read in you. And you will, if not. Hello, baby. What do you want? I can't sleep. Well, I'll go get some sleeping pills or something. Come on, you know that's not what I need to sleep, don't you? What is wrong with you, Pat? Huh? You are wrong with me. Honey. Come, come not put me to sleep. Come on. You know what, Pat? Just leave this place. Go away, okay? Not until I get what I want. Well, you're getting nothing. Why? Come on, nobody cares about us around here. Patricia, your husband, my father, has just been buried. Doesn't it occur to you that he deserves a little respect? <laughs> what sort of respect do you show a dead man that couldn't get it up when he was alive? My goodness, Patricia, you're still in mourning. So, is that a hindrance? Come on, honey, don't be proud. This is what we've always wanted, isn't it? To indulge yourself as much as we can. Mm, honey, just come put me to sleep, please. That's it.
particular day and the number from which the call was made and the name of the subscriber. This. This is an invasion of privacy. It is against the law. I am the law, sweetheart. I am the law. You are only a bloody policeman. No, but you love this bloody policeman, don't you? Let's do it in the sake of our love. Do you want us to end up in our bars? Listen, there is nothing that compares to the love behind the bars. It is either you are a prisoner of love or you are a prisoner in love. Sounds like a bad poetry. Just a little try, I know I will send Shakespeare to the clearance. You know that.
That is what I want. Can you print that for me? Sure, why not? If I have to end up in jail, I might as well end up with a large sentence. Bumbo class. I know that that overblooded Bambo will love this. Please print it out for me, please. to see after we when we came back home from the barrier yes what about him it was Steven our former driver what did he want I didn't want to tell you but you didn't want to tell me what Abigail is anything the matter He's been extorting money from me. What? Why? Mandy, he's been blackmailing me. Blackmail? What for? to Austria. I didn't know I was pregnant. Two months. When I discovered I called it home, it wouldn't be safe. Oh God, no. no. He insisted the babies are his. He asked me to pay him money to give his mouth shut. I gave him 500,000 naira. Ever since he's been extorting my money. Please. Abigail, if by the time I come back to this house, you are still here, you will not live to tell this story. No. Love me. Love me. Make sure you don't take my children with you. Oh, no, not me. Not me, please. Not me, please. <laughs>
I promise I'll come back on my time today. Excuse me, sir. It looks like the girl knew what she was talking about. See, I, I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. What, what did you say? The house help. She knew what she was talking about. Jerry, why don't you stop talking in riddles? Talk to me in a language I understand this. And what about this? I think I was right, sir. A big girl had a child for her husband, driver Stephen, who has been blackmailing her out of the house. She's been paying huge sums to him until now. Bose is heavily indebted to a gambling racket that is after his life. Coco is cocaine dependent and has run afoul of his suppliers. He has only a few days to go to pay his debt if not to become history. And of course, our dear Patricia was having a lump in the hair with Basil right under Paul Ruben's nose. Everybody had a reason to kill Paul Ruben. But one problem is nobody knew Baruben had run out of the gas. And of course, the content of the wheel. Sir, that leaves us with the question who killed Baruben and who had the most important and pressing need to get Baruben out of the way. Find out who would have benefited most from the death of Baruben. And he would have found out who our killer is. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. I copied it from a sheet I lifted from Desmond's office. I can't get a clear name. The rest is clear. So he's meet me at Hotel Riser this afternoon. But Ruben is planning to change his will and it will affect all of us drastically. Desmond. Who is us? Sir, Desmond and somebody else who knows about the will, I suppose. Find out who Desmond took to Hotel Ryzen. And I want a copy of that real fast. Okay, sir. This man? Sorry, I don't. Bye, man. Our friends never regretted being wrong. And that you mentioned it. Uh, I remember I comes there often with a young girl. What does she look like? Pretty, young thing, a little shy, which girl isn't. He seems to be in love, you're with only hands. And when was the last time you saw them here? Yeah? I see a lot of people every day. You'd be shocked at the level of sin that has been committed here on a daily basis. Married women, young boys, old men, ministers, governors. They all come here with young girls. When last did you see them, preacher? The Friday or Saturday, I'm not really sure. As I was telling you, the, the, the man would have reserved for 105 to watch you. Hello? Everybody down now.
Detectives, I hope there is no problem. I am placing all of you under arrest for the murder of Paruban. Arrest? Are you out of your mind? Maybe Dr. Gozier did it. But it will serve you well if you shut your mouth because anything you say can and would be used against you in a court of law. Excuse me. Are you accusing all of us of killing our father? Charging you with murder in the first decree will be the most appropriate time, madam. Why? You have not paid the 500,000 naira. Your ex-driver Stephen is demanding to keep his mouth shut from telling the world that he is the father of your twins instead of your husband. <laughs> not true. It's cheap. Nothing is too cheap for murderers like you, Dr. Gauzier. I take exception to being insulted by a common policeman. Being a common policeman is not better than being a born again society doctor who is three million naira in debt because of gambling and who conspires with his other siblings to kill his father because he wants to help with money. <laughs> I was only black sheep of the family. You are not, Mr. Coco. Being a drug addict, indebted to the tune of 400,000 naira, might not be worse than having a younger brother who sleeps with his stepmother. In what? Your stepmom is hot under the sheet, Dr. Gozi, and your youngest brother here. He has been stoking the fire. Helping your father do the job old age could not allow him to do. What's that? I must say. Thumbs up, bro. Thumbs up. You son of a. 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 You son I mean, what are you guys do, man? Huh? Look, I'm, I'm, hey, hey. Thumbs up, bro, man. You beat me to it, man. <laughs> what you good? I see the hatred and greed. Yeah, man, you got it. Hello, big girl, this is Steven. Hey, 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 listen here. Listen, if you do not pay me, I'm going to make sure I sue you to the last cover you have and I'll make a public claim of my children. Is that clear? Listen, if you try that, then be ready to pay every cover of the 35 million you have collected from my wife and go to jail for blackmail. See you in That hung up on me, damn it! Who wrote this? Who wrote this? Who wrote it? I'm going to see your ass to hell. Whose handwriting is this, Mr. Desmond? I've never seen this before. I don't know what you're talking about. I speak check is in this man. It must have been taken at Shelton Hotel post that. What were you doing at this? You have the right to walk into my house and harass me or ask any. I have every right to do what I want to do with you, Mr. Desmond. You are being a perfect try, wouldn't it? But you are not so smart after all. With this disgusting fool, he's right. This man. You are under arrest for the murder of Paru Ben Dede. You have the right to remain silent, or else anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Now move. You guys must be out of your minds. Maybe it doesn't matter, but nobody gives a hoot. Lies in the sea, hatred and greed. Oh, lies in the sea, hatred and greed. Angela, 
Don't go. We shall need you here. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. We have a long story to tell. Somebody killed your father. The person thought, or let's just say, obviously knew that there was a lot of money to inherit. We figured out that this man here must have been an accomplice to that murder. Last week, your father's doctor had told him that he had less than a month to live. Then he sent for all of you to see you all one last time. Before sending for all of you, disillusioned as he was with his children, he had already left everything with this criminal Desmond. But when Paruben saw all of you again, he had a change of heart. He decided to share his wealth equally. Desmond and whoever he was working with knew that they were out to lose big money. That was when Desmond played out his hands. it was time to kill Paruben, but he knew he could not carry out the act alone. So, he bought a pot of cyanide and invited his accomplice, who incidentally happens to be his lover, to brief her. Paruben was poisoned a day after all of you had gotten home. When we started investigations, we found out that you all had a reason or a motive to kill Paruben. What we did not know, or what we had to find out, was who exactly put the poison into Paruben's cup of coffee. The same person who knew about Paruben's will was the same person who has been sleeping with Desmond. Abigail made the coffee. She had every opportunity to poison the coffee. What we want to now know, or what we do not know, is if she did. I began handed the coffee to Coco, who now handed it over to Gozier. We are sure that both of them did not poison that coffee. But their only crime is that they helped to execute that deadly crime without knowing it. The cup was handed to Basil, who now handed it over to Angela. Miss Angela, I place you under arrest for the murder of Pa Ruben. You have a right to remain silent and a right to anatomy. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Not so fast, Angela. You are in charge of this move. Apologies, but you should keep your skeletons in your cupboards. Old bones should not be allowed to walk around in the open. Desmond, move. Hey man, maybe you should just get straight to the point because we ain't got all day to waste, if you know what I mean. Um, it's concerning the application your family wrote to the DPP's office over your father's will. And we are sorry to inform you that it cannot be executed right away because there is no will. The document gives everything to the house help who is going to stand trial over the date of your father. What are you saying? That there is nothing the DPP's office can do until the trial is over. Breaking! What, what, what are you talking about? What do we need you for anyway? Look, look, that property is our old man's property and we're going to share it with we them. It's all right! We don't need nobody to come and tell us what to do with what our father left us. I'm sorry. It does not work that way. The state is already involved. You don't understand, sir. You see, 
we all have problems and we need this thing to be sorted out as soon as possible so that we can go solve our problems maybe not maybe not maybe we need to hang around for a while let things get sorted out Vanish. hang around well. look you're just talking like this because the pressure is not on you if the pressure were you you have to i didn't put you in your situation okay so don't talk to me like that drug addict drug, drug what drug addict you call me a drug addict oh yeah but i'm better than you Woman sleeping with her stepson? Hey, hey, you guys, just, just calm down, please, all right? It's all right, please. Let's put a stop to this, all right? There's a visitor in our midst here. So, could you kindly excuse us? Please, I think I did my leave. Please get out. <laughs> Falls across the land. Secret deeds abound the night. Open doors, jaded minds, a broken heart left behind. Lies in the sea, hatred and greed. You, in particular, should know that place that you're taking is to lead to your grave. <laughs> Is something else to keep in mind. Uh, I can't think of a better way to die than by sweet things. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we already know what we're killing. We didn't need to investigate your death. Uh, no problem, I'll tell you before I die. Yeah. You, you don't have to worry. You sent for us. Uh, yes. Uh, have we closed the file on Pa Ruben's mother? The rest is left to the lawyers. I wonder if we have not made a mistake somewhere. Made a mistake? Yes. <coughs> I just did a confirmatory test on the copper Ruben drank from. And I found out that he must have ingested more than a dose of cyanide. I don't understand. What I'm saying? I found a large trace of fluorine in the cup, and it is deadlier than cyanide. Are you saying that the fluorine killed him? That is not what I mean. What I'm saying is that the fluorine in that cup is enough to kill five parubins. And the cyanide? Uh, it is obvious that somebody wanted parubins very dead. If the cyanide in that cup was enough to kill Paruben, then why would this man add the fluorine to the cup? That is a question. Is it of two things? Maybe he didn't know the strength of cyanide and now decided to add fluorine. Or maybe someone else added fluorine after he must have had laced the cup with cyanide. Uh, you're not making sense. That is it. What I'm trying to say is that maybe someone else, apart from the man we just arrested, wanted Parubens dead. So that's it. It's a very tricky one. Bye. We'll leave this fight with you guys. Bye. I have to go now because it's far past my lunch time. Anytime you need my help, just give me a call and I'll be there. So you guys should.
Come on, bitch. Let's. Take on the bills. to remain silent. Now move it. Move it. Move. Move it. Move. I said move. used to kill Paruben. I have told you everything I know. I, I don't know any. <laughs> what else you want to hear from me? Who gave you the second poison? Second poison? Yes. I, I don't know anything about any second poison. What I put in the cup was only what Desmond gave to me. Maybe you should make things a little easier on yourself. Believe me, I, I, didn't, I, I don't know anything about any second poison. Please. A word of advice. You better tell us all you know about it now. Or else, if we find out things for ourselves, you will not like what would happen to you. I don't know anything. For a military establishment, one would think that this place would have better security. Hmm. You know there's nothing sexier than a beautiful woman in a military uniform. I am sure it is not sex that is on your mind this morning. You're right. We'll have to find out what this guy is up to. You know my hunch never fails me. It had better not, it had better not this time. Because I told you that this case is closed. The culprit has been apprehended, but you wouldn't listen. You know your time is up. You have only until the day after tomorrow to provide all that money. After then we shall come to collect what you owe us. Day after tomorrow. And the last sound you will hear will be the sound of this gun going off. If nothing comes out of this, we are going to set a tap on every member of the family, one after the other. You must be out of your mind. If you are jobless for crying out loud, I am not. 
after this day, I am through with this matter until we go to court. I have a lot of things to do. Why not to arrest this young man? Just say food. Yes, sir. Why would go say bring food for Angela? What did you just say? I mean, why would a man bring food for the same person that was arrested for the murder of his own father? Come. Excuse me, Dr. Gazi. Excuse me. Yeah? Uh, is there anything the matter? No, we want to have a word with you inside if you don't mind. Is there anything the matter? That's what we want to find out. Lies in the sea, hatred and greed. People had something but they never let you know. Lies in the sea, hatred and greed. People had something but they never let you know. If only people could be truthful. You'll never know what they are thinking. All the lies that they've been hiding, it's so bad. So bad, so bad. We understand you brought this food for Angela. Yes. Sir, we do not mean to embarrass you, but we would like you to taste this food yourself before we send it to her. What is the meaning of that? Are you saying that we I are not saying? We said test this food before we send it to Angela. Full stop. I'm sorry, I cannot do that. Why? Because I simply don't have appetite for food. You don't need appetite to test this food. Why are we wasting time with this man? Read him his right. What do you mean, read me my right? I put it to you that there is poison in this food. I beg your pardon? Then taste it. I said I don't have appetite for food now. Dr. Gozier, you are under arrest for attempted murder of Angela. You have the right to remain silent or anything you say will and shall be used against you in the court of law. Okay? Now, take, take this man in and lock him up. Take this food to the lab. I want to find out what is in this food now.
That was a very, very good job. I must commend you guys for a job well done. Yeah, I... I'll put it this way. Why don't you guys just take a break? I'll take the week off. Thank you, sir. Hmm? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Enjoy yourself. Thank you, Carry on. <laughs> The final me. 